Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode in our Altus Turmeric 1946 Iron Man series with the Imperial Japanese Navy. Today we will be partaking in the attack on Darwin on the February 19th, 1942. Let's get into the history provided by D. Humphrey here. After the bombings of Simpson Harbor in Rabaul on New Britain, Akagi and the carriers of the 1st and 2nd Carrier Divisions, the Kido Butai, were ordered south to the Timor Sea. On February 19th, from a point 100 nautical miles southeast of the easternmost tip of Timor, they launched airstrikes against Darwin, Australia in an attempt to destroy its port and airfields facilities to prevent any interference with the invasion of Java. Akagi contributed B-5N torpedo bombers, D-3A dive bombers, and A-6M Zero fighters for the attack, which caught the defenders by surprise. Eight ships were sunk, including the American destroyer Peary, and 14 more were damaged. None of the carrier's aircraft were lost in the attack, and the attack was effective in preventing Darwin from contributing to the Allied defense of Java. So, we'll be partaking in the raid on Darwin. I will obviously switch the mission here in a moment since uh, the history is always on the... D. Humphrey makes like three different missions for the same attack. One where you can fly as a torpedo bomber, a dive bomber, or the Zero Fighter. We of course will be flying the Zero Fighter mission, but that is not the one that has the history that I just read to you. So. Similar to last mission, I'll just cut to the actual mission we'll be flying. Alright, so here's the actual mission we'll be flying. As you can see, we will once again be flying a zero. And we will be providing air cover for our bombers as they wreak havoc on the facilities in Darwin, Australia. As always, I've got to be careful about the anti-aircraft fire. And I will likely see some enemy aircraft. Don't know if they'll be P-36s again, or P-40s perhaps this time. I don't know. We shall see. Without further ado, let's jump into the cockpit. Alright, so we're here on the deck of the Akagi. Once again, there is a fairly large number of aircraft on the deck, so I will... Skip ahead to when they've taken off. I'll just get everything in order here. One thing I like about the Japanese career so far is that you get a lot of diverse locations. We're not really spending a lot of time at singular locations, such as when we were flying the I-16 in the Soviet campaign, we were in the same snowy wasteland for like 20 missions. But here it's as if each mission is a new battle, a new location. As you know, first couple missions we were in China, then Pearl Harbor, then the attack on Rabaul, and then now we're going to be flying over Darwin, Australia. And then even after that we will be seeing even more diverse locations if we continue to survive, which I have confidence that we will. Don't want to jinx myself. Yeah, it's a nice change of pace from everything else that I've been doing in this series so far, and I hope it keeps continuing to go well. Being said, I'll skip ahead to when we're actually taking off back. We are finally ready for takeoff procedures. Everything is already in order, so I'm just going to throttle up here. And once we're at full throttle, I'm going to release the chocks. Make sure to get my rudder in good position. Like that, no problems at all. Off the deck. Alright, 
Yeah, there's definitely a lot of aircraft in this mission because you can barely even go two times speed without FPS drops. So it'll be interesting to see how chaotic the actual attack on Darwin is going to be with this amount of AI aircraft that D. Humphrey put into this mission. We definitely have a good ways to go. So we get to Darwin. Probably about a hundred kilometers or so. And with that, we're en route to the target. And I'll see you guys when we're approaching Darwin. Welcome back. We're quite close to the target area now, and it seems like some of our bombers are already under attack at the moment. Currently cannot see any enemy contacts, but I'm sure that will change in the coming minutes. There's the harbor down below. Oh, I see some tracers. Looks like anti-aircraft fire. Oh, there's definitely some enemy aircraft. I'm going to take the autopilot off here. I don't exactly trust it too much. So they clearly see something that I do not. Oh, there we go. That's our first contact. The, that enemy is smoking already. That looks like a float plane of some kind. It's the landing. Let's go help out over here. Not staying with my flight, but I'm not spending my time strafing a float plane when there's more pressing concerns over here. Oh, there's definitely more pressing concerns. Let's not be stupid. Can't go too fast in this plane or we're gonna lock up. I'm not entirely sure what kind of aircraft we're dealing with. Those look like P-40s. That hits. We got American markings. Just him up. His engine's cooked. This guy's trying to come over here. Not happening. Whoa, whoa. Let's not get too crazy. Oh, hey. We got a kill. That's number seven. Oh, that's eight. 
I'm kind of worried about the anti-aircraft right now. Ah. Oh, my gunnery is not working right now. But he's not a... Actually, that's a bit concerning. There are so many aircraft right now. Oh, jeez. Okay, I don't want to pursue them. Stay with our boys over here. Looks like they got him. Right, so we got these two up here. Looks like we're doing a lot of damage to the enemy. Alright, looks like the fight has been initiated. He's getting shot up there. This guy's about to have a fun time. Am I like just missing him? Oh my. Looks like he's cooked. Yeah, he pilot sniped. Cockpit's red. Guy's not having a good day. So I run into this guy here. I think he's pretty much cooked at this point. Okay, 
All right, looks like we did our damage. Let's start making our way back to the carrier. All right, so that was very successful. We got three more kills to our name. Seem to be a bit more formidable opponents. P40s this time instead of P36s. It's still not quite the match for the zero yet. At least when they do not have the altitude advantage. It really was not a fair contest. But uh, yeah. So that's over with. I will see you guys back at the carrier. All right, welcome back. We're entering the landing run here. I'm gonna start getting everything in order. Course. Nothing a couple of rudder taps can't What the? Thought I told him to break. Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay, I told him to break, but, uh... I guess he decided to rejoin at a very bad moment. Alright, that was a very successful landing, apart from... What happened to our boy over there? So from that, we got three more kills. I think we're up to nine kills now on the this career. Mr. Fushida is doing quite well for himself in the early days of the Pacific War. Hopefully, there are still many more days to come. As always, thanks for joining me, and I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you.